Okay, I'm back, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives, and we're catalysts as well as catalysts in our own. And we work towards becoming the artists we've always wanted to be. And we just keep trying until we get there. Uh, I was deeply heartened this week because someone I did a portrait of, um, a, a blues singer, that she lived here in Sarasota, her name is Lauren Mitchell. She moved to New Orleans, and this week she was flown out to California to, for, a, uh, for a recording session uh, with a big band that is right now escaping my name. But I'm so heartened because she's another artist who's worked really, really hard, and she's dedicated all of her energy, all of her money, her life into um, building this career. She's a great singer, and she's been so close so many times, and she just got uh, recognized by a, by a group of professionals, and she was in a real recording studio with, with high-level musicians, and it just makes me go, oh God, it, it, it can happen, it can happen. Even after, this happened even after she thought she's not gonna be getting as far as she's worked for. So I want you to take that into consideration and hold it into your heart as we just keep working. We've all seen so many artists, and I hear from people every day who are like, you know, lower, lower uh, artists with less, less talent and dedication will sometimes be pushed ahead in life, and it is heartbreaking. And in fact, last weekend, um, I got... I was so stressed out about this and about where I am that I ended up deathly sick in bed for a few days. I couldn't, I, I couldn't get up. I was physically, mentally, emotionally sick from just thinking, it, it, this is never going to happen. This is never going to happen. And thinking the opportunity is right there again, you know, they, right there and it's gonna go poof once again. And I don't wanna think that way, but you know, when it happens, as I was, I was talking to a friend the other day, or so, a couple of friends who have, out of the blue have been calling me, you know, I said, it's happened so many times over the, over the years and over the decades. It's like, I just, I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. But then I saw, saw, you know, all these posts and things from Lauren, and I went, oh, thank God. Thank, you know, there, there's, still, there's still hope. There's still hope, so hold that in your heart. Behind me is a large scale, larger scale uh, image of Emma E. Booker that I've been working on for submission. As you can see today, I've been uh, chalking in, going over the painting that I've done so far, and kind of shifting things on her face because she didn't feel right to me. This is roughly the size the face alone would be on the wall. So she's somewhere around eight feet high, five feet wide. She's somewhere around there. Uh, you've watched me over the past few weeks do go from graph or um, from thing. Um, I want to say graph. That's not it. Grid. Grid to grid to grid, going tiny, larger, 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 and now we're at this level, where this is really one, uh, it is almost the exact same size as one of the cinder block uh, pieces in, in this wall that I've been asked to now submit work for. Um, but it also works out where this would be the same size as her face, so we're, we're getting there, we're pretty good. I focused on her face because she is the main element. Emma's image is the main element in, in this project. So I've got to make sure that I get her right. And although she's kind of okay, she's better than she was, the colors aren't right. I wasn't, I wasn't able to, um, when I first started doing this size, wasn't able to get the colors that I needed, but with help from uh, different people who have been supporting this project, I've been able to get more colors, and they're sitting over there on my on my painting table waiting to be used. What I'm going to do, and there was one other thing, but what I'm going to do is uh, uh, use 
use her, let me see, I'm going to actually, um, sorry, I'm going to sketch in some of the changes using different color paint, trace her, um, and, and use her for doing a whole new image. I've spent the last couple days making 20 of these guys, which are the basic ideas for the flowers I want around her head, or, uh, orange blossoms. Uh, 20 of them, so they indicate, or, or uh, they symbolize the 20 years she spent getting her bachelor's degree um, while she was teaching. I mean, it took her 20 years because she was teaching. She was acting as a principal. She raised the money for the first African-American or black school here in Sarasota. And so I want to recognize it through symbolism. So these are very rough. They're just a basic idea, and I've been trying to figure out the layout of these guys after doing the face, and it's not working out. So I really got to start all over again. And believe it or not, I ran through, I didn't think I would actually do it, but I bought, well, let me grab it for you. I bought a bucket of Jell-O, a, a Gesso, Jell-O, gesso, a full gallon, and I thought, I'll never use this. I never use gesso, white gesso. I only use black uh, black to go over the white canvas. But thank God I did, because the I'm trying to replicate the wall, the color on the wall, and doing this over and over and over again as we bring the face up from really a foot tall to now eight feet tall, I've used up the entire bucket. And I'm going to head out now to get some more because I'm going to start all over. And I'm going to start this the way I would a, a normal painting, which is doing this entire section of the image at least all at once. Now trying to figure out, you know, trying to place in where these would go is really screwing with my head. So she's going to be, I'm going to put in lines that I can trace over. I'm going to hang another piece of plastic sheeting, which is what I've been using instead of canvas now at this size. Hang up another plastic uh, sheet of uh, another sheet of plastic, and uh, paint paint them gray, and then then I will be able to really figure out the entire image all at once instead of piecemealing. I'm not good at piecemeal. It's all going to be done in one consecutive flowing motion. So we're just constantly working on all aspects of the canvas or the image uh, that we're trying to project. You know, this is what I do on the canvases, so I've got to do it here because that's how my mind works. But I've also figured out while I was working on her, I only had a few stencils and they were working fine. These, this is something I normally use, this, doilies, other items. They were working out fine they were working out okay, and I would take them and shift them so that we get different textures and di different ideas, but it really was very, very limiting. And I realized I was limiting myself and not able to progress into what I want her to be. So yesterday, I spent the day um, cutting out more stencils and going through some older ones to find things that I can add to her and to the background. And I'll tell you something else that I've done. I've really been struggling with this idea, and it's more little flowers and little butterflies symbolizing the students and growth and blah 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 but it's just too much. It's going to be too convoluted. Too many tiny things, too many ideas going on to help um, to help this image kind of pop out and also to help balance. I don't know. I've got a lot running through my head like I usually do, maybe a little too much. So I've decided to take out the little flowers and just put in the butterfly shapes. And that'll be, that. I don't know, some, something tells me that's, that's going to be a major key here. That and getting the little medallions in. These are not the colors I want to use but I just had to get something done. Hopefully today we'll get it rectified. And the image, by the way, although now I've been looking at it for two days, the base of what you're looking at only took me a day. Uh, it took me maybe seven, eight hours. So that's kind of on the schedule that I want to keep, 
when, if, when we get to the, get to the wall. And I, but I want to make sure I get this right. So when we get there, it's just boom, pity, boom, pity, boom. So I'm still working with the grid, working with new stencils, going to clean up the image, shift, like I said, shifting things over. And really, I want to make her pop so bad. I want to make her exceptional. Um, it would be highly detailed, but I want to make her exceptional in this space. This is part of a larger project. When it was first presented to me, it was presented a little bit differently um, than I understood, uh, than I understood it to be conveyed. But um, I understand that it's for an organization that's in the in this tiny section of Sarasota that was Overtown, and Overtown is there. I'm sorry, this. Um, so, uh, my head. I'm thinking I gotta get on my bike before it starts to uh, rain again. They, uh, in the small section of Sarasota, they have murals everywhere. I want to do what I do, and have it completely different, or completely different, but also uh, completely different than all the other murals that it that it's in the center of. But also help tie the colors and ideas and the feel together. I think with these textures and with her face being more correct, well, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. And hopefully like Lauren, this will be the springboard of bigger and bigger things. All right, I'm back, back lane. This is uh, Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company and different projects and other things, um, all the links are down, or will be down below, are down below, uh, including Cash App, PayPal, um, I have a Venmo account that I forgot about, um, and a Zelle account as well. Uh, but Patreon, TeePublic, where you can buy images of my work on t-shirts and all kinds of things. Um, and what's the other one? I don't remember. Anyway, I, it's going to rain. It's been thundering, so I've got to get on my bike now and go get more. And another gallon of gesso so I can mix this up and get going again. All right, take care. Ready, Carrie? Here we go. Cheryl, and thanks to everybody who's been thanks to everybody who's been communicating with me. And there's been a bunch of mural artists who I've been messaging and texting with and having phone calls with, kind of all over the country. And I really appreciate uh, the support and the advice. All right, ready, Carrie? Here we go now. Cheryl, meow, 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 boink.